Hello everybody, welcome to the quarter final of Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. Uh, we've got this thanks to Spirit or Log, so I'll put the link in the YouTube description and you can check him out, follow him on Twitch if you want, thank you very much. Um, we've got Nolly with actual Frenzy Orcs, 2.175 million TV, up against Spirit or Log with 2.435 Nurgle and uh, yeah. The teams are pretty one-sided. <laughs> you will find out uh, when this match starts that the, t <laughs> that the teams are rather imbalanced. Um, there's loads of claw. Like the, the team is terrifying. This Nurgle team is terrifying for a Bash team. Um, absolutely terrifying. Like especially Orcs, right? Orcs you know, rely on their armor 9, and, you know, Claw Mighty isn't as good as it was, so this isn't as good a team as it would have been in the old rules, but it's still, there's, I mean, God knows how many, there's about 5 Claw or something, it's, it's ridiculous, maybe even 6 Claw, there's loads of Claw, <laughs> which is enough to, uh, to, you know, worry the, uh, Orcs, and, uh, before the match, Nolly was asking advice from, Artemis Black and myself about what inducements they should take. Artemis said you should definitely take two uh, babes and then maybe a bribe or something and uh, you know maybe a wizard and I was like it doesn't matter what you take because you're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> and Ollie's like you really think that, that you really think the match is that unfair? And I was like yep <laughs> but um you know the du the dutch seem quite a confident people don't they you know there's three dutch streamers that i know of and there's there's chunter who you know is supremely confident in his abilities sage supremely confident in his abilities and nolly is also similarly confident so you know um good for them but uh i did say if you take if you take Ripper, he'll be cast on turn one. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> I did say that, and then I said maybe the only way you can win this is with like dirty player sneaky git. He's got two dirty player sneaky gits, so like maybe, maybe with two DP sneaky gits, you know, if you get a bribe or two, you can try and bribe your way to victory. With just you know like sniping, sniping and then f and then fouling like gang fouling, but it's that's going to be hard, right? I mean, look at this, look at this. There's like this six claw, might even be seven claw. So Nolly's team is actual actual frenzy. There's there's four frenzy biggins, which is a, it's actually a lot better, right? With move five, uh, so frenzy's got better. Guard block stand firm troll, very nice. Uh, only fielding one sneaky get at the moment. And having to do this like defensive formation um, to not get wrecked. <laughs> it was harsh, but you know, it was funny, right? I, mean, I, I tried to be funny with things. I'm not trying to be a scumbag, but you know, it's true. Like you know, you, when you when you see Spirit or Log's team, you may, you may agree with me on uh, the assessment of Nolly's chances. <laughs> So yeah, here we go. We've got block guard mighty claw, block mighty tackle guard claw, block guard mighty claw, <laughs> block mighty claw guard tackle, block mighty guard claw, <laughs> block mighty guard claw. <laughs> you may be noticing a theme here. And... Uh, <laughs> There is defensive on the Beast of Nurgle. Really good having defensive on big guys. That is definitely definitely the best place to have a defensive player, right? Because they're strength five, so and then so they're really hard to hit without guards of your own. So, um yeah, how many calls are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight claws. Eight claws and two defensive. There you go. The, the skills are overlapping too far. <laughs> the skills are all... Oh, yeah, there's a defensive. Yeah, you can see the defensive on this guy. Um, 
Yeah, two. I knew there was two defensive. Because at the start of the match, Nolly's like, we've got the same amount of guard, and I'm like, well, you've got less guard because he's got two defensive. So, it, you know, you're outguarded, essentially, with the defensive, and then he's got eight claws. <laughs> so you've got an armor seven orc team. And it's not really armor seven. It's it's somewhat. It's armor. It's armor seven and a half or something, isn't it? It's it's weird the way claw mighty works now. Um, yeah, it is weird how claw mighty works. It's it is nerfed, but you know it still helps versus orcs. And there's actually loads of tackle on this team as well, so it's not going to be terrible against the elves if it, if it if it if it gets to win this game and play against you know the elves potentially. Um, there's some tackle there. It's very rowdy. Oh. Yeah, the the beast has got m millions of SPP, hasn't it? Block guard, claws are double for the Nurgle, I think. Still, uh, the 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 beast of Nurgle. Well, it's not beast of Nurgle anymore. Is it Rotspawn? I believe they still got. They still need doubles for mutations, so that's like three secondaries and two primaries. That's a lot of SPPs. Not a successful LOS yet. 3D bit di bit risky though on a push would have been exposed. I would not have used for Fen then, right? Because you want to limit the movement if at all possible. Like there was no downside to using the Fen there. Interesting follow, because there would have been potential. Oh, I guess this what this guy doesn't want to assist because he wants to foul. Yeah. Yeah. Foul first or pick up first. Foul first. Yeah, the ref. The yeah, the officious ref. Got the uh, wrestle instead of one of the eight <laughs> claws. <laughs> Foul or pick up? Lame. <laughs> yeah, so it's that blood. Movement 8. Movement 8 you can't see. But uh, movement 8, Pestigo, lovely. I think it's Arch 2 Plus. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's Arch 2 Plus actually. I know it's movement 8. Ha! Um, I don't know. What is, is hat injury? Is hat injury in 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 like Russian? That's amazing. Ha! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> That's better than lesionado. <laughs> wow! Amazing. So there you go. Uh, Ripper doesn't get to play one turn. Oh, it's a KO. Of course, of course, it's a KO. Ha! -ha. <laughs> Of course it's a kill. God, I'm a moron. God, I'm a moron. <laughs> I can't even... I, you know, I, What I could do is I could edit that out, but I'm not going to. I'll just happily be a complete idiot. Like, I can see the bell. I know he's KO'd. And also, it's a two-letter word I'm instead of I'm legitimately KO'd. an idiot. I am legitimately an idiot. Yep. 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 My brain is a potato. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so now, Nolly's thinking, what the hell can I do here? Good, good inducement. Nice inducement, mate. Where'd you get it? Yeah, hat instead of kale is pretty good. I love Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> like I love Eat Glass. <laughs> That's the best, isn't it? <laughs> Singolo, literally the best thing about Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just hard for... Like, it's hard for Nolly to make a 2DB here. Much less get the foul in, right? So that's why, like, the... Uh, the... 
bribes weren't really a good choice because it's hard enough to get the two get the two Ds. And then so Ripper does let you get two Ds, so I, I can see the point in taking Ripper, you know, like it is a way to get two dice blocks. I wouldn't have hated a wizard. But um the good thing for Nolly is if they win, then at least their team isn't destroyed because this is res because it's not <laughs> there's no way to have a competition in Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> so these are friendlies and uh, so yeah you know even if half the players die if they can get the win it doesn't matter and there's also no cabal vision so this has just had to be restreamed from spirit hall logs VOD Who is using the lovely, the lovely Blood Bowl Two icons mod, which I like a lot, because the new skills are terrible. And if you disagree, well, you're just incorrect. Yep, there's a lot of police. Uh, you know, terrorism, isn't it? It's terrorism if you criticise Blood Bowl Three. So they're on to me. It's funny defensive, isn't it? It's forty TV for a skill that doesn't even work on your own turns, but it is actually pretty strong. It's just getting there and paying for it. I'm pretty much never going to see it in redraft. So I like I like that uh, Spirit Olog is just steaming in here. <laughs> like it's a bit it's a bit rowdy because there is a lot of guard on the orcs. It's it's a, I guess the bad thing is the defensive isn't in right. If this defensive was in, then this looks a lot better. Like if you've got one defensive there and one defensive there, then it's becomes a tough nut to crack. This is just a base everyone and hope you can hope it pays off, which is a bit a bit worse. I mean it's not even the beast, right? It's just I mean the beast is not gonna activate here, is he? But you want the other defensive in as well, that's the thing. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. So the beast shouldn't have activated, but all, the the big thing was this this bloater not getting in, right? I don't know why he's not in. I don't know if he stood up out of turn or made a block or whatever. But but if you're going all in on this contact, you need this you need this bloater in, um, and you need to not activate the the rot spawn, so you have maximal. Maximal application of defensive, which is just pretty hard to counter. I mean, well, there's no real counter for it, right? It's, uh, it's pretty strong. <laughs> yes, it's really GFIs. Yeah, Cruz hasn't streamed for ages, has he? <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the geophytes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this can still work, right? Like, at the end of the day, his team's a lot rowdier than Nolly's. Um, and, you know, I didn't like when some of the Chaos teams in the Blood Bowl 2 chalice didn't do this. Like, like you know, if you are the Bash favourite, you've got to try and engage a bit and... And like, you know, let your skills do the work, right? And he's two players up. The two strength fives are out. Well, strength five and strength six are out. So like, 
getting a big brawl going is pretty good because that's how you win, isn't it? You, you know, your eight, your eight claw mighties remove people. But I mean, this is a pretty, pretty heavy hits from Nolly. Nolly's got loads of mighty blow, loads of guard. So this is a, it was a bit rowdy. I like the concept of, oh, that was bad, wasn't it? Defensive. Doesn't, oh, but can chain out the defensive. Ah, ah, ah. Um, so yeah, like it's, the concept is, is sound, but it could have been done better. I mean, it's not arguably better than McCready. That it's definitely worse to not have piling on on at least one character. <laughs> it's definitely worse to not have piling on, but you know they they get you know they get the some of the things as well, right? But like it, it's good that claw, t uh, you know, chaos teams aren't aren't pommed because you know they, they suffered versus pom quite a lot with only armor eight on most players. So yeah, so you know, like took all these hits, but now getting what three claw, four claw mighty hits back, four claw mighty hits back. And then plus the blitz, so getting five claw mighty. So you know, traded all these hits, didn't get anyone removed, and now get five claw mighty hits back. So it's looking like a pretty good deal right now. <laughs> yes, they do get great. Like that's the thing. Like Nurgle are terrible for this. You know, for in Blood Bowl in Blood Bowl twenty twenty, Nurgle are terrible because they will never get to this level because of redraft. But in Blood Bowl three. When there's no redraft and there's no um, expensive mistakes, then uh, then Nurgle can get to this and then can become good. And obviously Chaos can as well. Not even a stun. No, that was pretty unlucky from Nolly. But you know, you only expect half to get knocked down, right? And then. If they do get knocked down, mighty blow, you know, isn't that likely to uh, remove somebody? So it was more like would have been a position lost if more people had gone knocked down and not got the blocks back. The idea of redrafting is to stop runaway leaders in local leagues. Online ladder play was not considered at all. And nor should it be, because the rules exist to sell Citadel miniatures. <laughs> that is their only purpose. Well, the the hits back from the Nurgle produced absolutely nothing as well. Pretty unlucky. But yeah, it's a scrum where the Nurgle have two more players, more strength, and more guard. And too too defensive. So it's not looking good. For the orcs, but the orcs do have a lot of stand firm and some frenzy. But you know they're not going to get good use of the frenzy. The frenzy is going to be more of a a negative thing. A lot of this game. Man, I hate that friend is optional. It's so stupid. Maybe they just couldn't or would, you know, incapable or unwilling to just have 
defend trigger against frenzy but it's so stupid that it's optional all the time Frenzy Trap gets a POW and gets rid of the defensive. Frenzy Opportunity. Nolly playing unbelievably slow this game. Probably probably just because they're absolutely absolutely up a shit creek without a paddle a stark difference from the first game where it was just click 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 a million 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 clicks a second now it's like oh I can't hit anybody I can't do anything oh god <laughs> ha <laughs> DP sneaky git does the job bribe Wait, what? Oh, argued the call instead of bribing. Well, that's incorrect. But never mind. Oh, no, it doesn't have a bribe. Didn't take bribes, took Ripper. Oh, my God. Sorry, I was actually thought... actually thought they'd done the right thing and taken a bribe then. Yeah. <laughs> no, argue the call fails. And they get sent off so they can't argue uh, when the goblin gets sent off. Well, yeah, I didn't realize just how fast Nolly played because, it, you know, again, I'd like I'd, I'd find it pretty much impossible to watch Blood Bowl three streams and <laughs> just listen. I <laughs> just listen. <laughs> but it's it's crazy how fast Nolly was playing the. Uh, the previous round. But yeah, not not playing this one so fast. <laughs> this is more a game of take three minutes to spot the 2D. <laughs> I guess there's some kind of like optimal blocking and positioning pattern for a uh, spirit or log. But it doesn't matter too much, right? It's mostly just maximized two Ds and uh... claw, claw them to bits. That was the Mister Page teams, wasn't it? Claw them to bits. <laughs> but it's a Kaz and was that an apple or no I don't think so hard to tell what's going on <laughs> frenzy opportunity This is much better. Just use the blitz. Another KO. And then GFI for an extra hit. Yeah, I got this one coming here. Wait, what? Hello? Wait, what? Oh, dodging the foul. Oh, don't like that. Could have just blocked him. I mean, okay, fouling with dirty player is nice, but you can just block this guy, right? It's a four plus dodge as well. Yeah. 
Blocking was much better. Oh, but there you go, Kaz. <laughs> Kaz, definitely the right play to foul. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, and uh, the argue the call works. There's like a biased ref. Or does it not work? No, it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Also, Nolly could have got a biased ref, but that doesn't work 100%. Greed pays off. Yeah, I would have definitely just blocked there, right? One in nine block, bring him in. And then even if it fails, you've got like claw on them as well for the next turn. Yeah, there's not many orcs left. <laughs> yeah, literally four orcs left. Flip me. Mmm. Gets to the ball. And gets a 1D on the ball, so there you go. A bit of a mistake there. No reason to have that Pestigo hittable. Didn't I didn't notice. And obviously, but I wasn't playing the game. But yes, that's uh, that was a bit of a mistake. Leaving him hittable. But now, of course, can, uh, can surround the few remaining orcs. Got four dice on this guy. Could even 3D him for six dice. But there's no way to, is there? These are, these are movement four. Unless maybe one of them's plus strength, I don't know. Nobody knows. I don't like not putting this guy around the other side, right? Because you want to move the ball up here. You want to move the ball up to here, so you want this, this guy around this side. Ideally. Gets Le Pau. Yeah, because this guy's moving forward, surely, right? Turn five. I mean, he doesn't have to, but... This guy could have come here. Or, like, had somebody here and then go in here. But whatever it is, it's a bit... A bit not good to leave him on a three-plus dodge out. There's just like no need to leave him a three plus three. You know, you either cover like this area or you go there or something. Leaving him four three is probably too good. So you probably want to get a player here. A player here and the ball here was best, right? That was better. Ha! One, two, three, four, five, G. So this is a four, three, two, two to hit if the ball goes there. He's just counting out now. So yeah, the play was definitely to put a player here. And then the ball there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's eight claw mighty. It's not, it's not surprising. Hat is brilliant. Yeah. Funny that Artemis recommended two babes, and then there's like six KOs or something. Who could have possibly predicted half the team getting KO'd versus claw mighty? <laughs> eight claw mighty. Hello, Ansi. <laughs> Going for the uh, frenzy. Wow, not using. Using Fend. I'd have let him uphill me again. Doesn't have babes, Steve. He, uh, they took Ripper instead of the babes. <laughs> Art recommended babes, and Nolly took Ripper. <laughs> Versus a team with eight claw mighty. <laughs> took a defenseless uh, player, uh, which you know. 
I mean, strength six. Ripper did get removed turn one, yeah. Versus a team with about, you know, eight guard and eight claw mighty and probably nine guard, right? Probably nine guard. No, eight guard. Eight guard, eight claw mighty, surprisingly enough, was able to get a 2D on, on Ripper. Well, thanks, Pun Punisher. I mean, what a great thing to just come in and fuck up the cast. Thanks very much. Brilliant. I might just go to your house and take a shit in your letterbox. <laughs> you absolute wanker. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Why do people do this? Like, just people always do it. Corpax did it twice. Now Ponish has done it. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Anything could happen, guys. <laughs> Ooh, it's really exciting. <laughs> Only taken three Kaz though, right? So all these KOs could come back. Now okay the three the three Kaz are really good players. And the reserves are really bad players. But still. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Anything could happen, guys. Don't go don't go anywhere. <laughs> Anything could happen. Nolly's taking a long time, maybe thinking about conceding. <laughs> maybe arguing about whether whether immediate means instant or not. <laughs> oh god, that was a treat there. If you if if, if you missed the Nelissia stream, what a what a laugh it was arguing about whether immediate meant instant or not. We were talking about the implementation of the wizard. And, like, it's technically correct, right? The implementation that Cyanide have gone with for the for the wizard is technically correct. Um, in that, it does happen immediately at the end of your opponent's turn. So you can understand, you know, people who don't play Blood Bowl, making the rules would make it work the way it works. But it's really, really, really stupid and shouldn't work the way it works. <laughs> but I was just saying you can understand them doing it the way they did it, you know? With them being completely ignorant of our blood bowl. <laughs> and why wouldn't they be? It's a f That's a funny thing, isn't it, as well, with, like, Cyanide, right, making Blood Bowl, because, like, you know, the people who make other games know how the mechanics are meant to work. Um, that's the thing, you know, whereas these guys don't know how the mechanics are. It's technically correct, Rogmerk. Um, you declare the whiz before the end of the opponent's turn because you have to use it immediately at the end of your opponent's turn. So how can you use it immediately in, at the end of your opponent's turn in a video game? Well, by clicking that you're going to use it during their turn. I, I totally... I totally sympathise with them on that. If you're completely ignorant about Blood Bowl, that seems a completely reasonable solution. <laughs> but obviously it's it's a terrible solution for an actual, you know, for the, for the game of Blood Bowl, right? It's, it's an idiotic implementation, but one you can understand them doing. What would I do in Nolly's situation here? Um, I mean, I would have, I would have, I would probably concede. <laughs> I would probably concede when I lose like another three or four players but you know no spoilers <laughs> in tabletop you have to do it immediately after the opponent's turn so how immediate is immediate right that's, that's another question yeah can you think for seven minutes? Is that immediate if you think for seven minutes after your opponent's turn? 
I mean, you could say it technically is because you haven't taken another action, right? So how I would say it would, it would work in Blood Bowl 3, how it should work in Blood Bowl 3 is you either get a pop-up at the end of the turn that eats into your time bank of do you want to use the wizard, like yes, no, or whatever, or you have you can use it at the start of your turn, but it doesn't cause a turnover. They are like the two ways of doing it sensibly. But the way that they've done it is technically rules compliant, right? Like, it's it's terrible. It's obviously terrible. But it's technically rules compliant. <laughs> yes, that's what I would say as well, fucking around, yeah. And then, and then I said instantly instead of immediately, and uh, and then Nolly was like, "That's not what it means." <laughs> and then so we had a big argument about that. It was pretty funny. And I then I saw, of course, I said, "It's funny that Ripper was removed instantly." <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. So yeah, we've got 10 players, right? It's not over. Don't say it's over. It's still technically possible to win this. You have to blitz a good player and then gang foul them with sneaky git DP and cast them. And that probably should have been your goal for the entire first half, honestly. Um, that's how you win, I guess, right? Put everything into blitzing a player and fouling them out. Which... To be fair, spirit or log kind of stopped by the mass, the mass basing. So you've got to imagine the mass basing is going to happen again, even more so with it being his defense. And then he's got two defensives that you can't really deal with at all. So yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? They're called cyanide. I wonder if that was uh, there's any reason. But yeah, it's sad that there's like, you know, there's the way Blood Bowl 2 did it and there's the way Blood uh, there's the way Fumble did it, or like the two sensible ways of doing the wizard. And then Cyanide have chosen an insane way of doing it. Well not in sale, just a a Blood Bowl ignorant way of doing it, which which is fair enough because why would they know the rules? <laughs> Like that's pretty unique, isn't it? That's gotta be pretty unique. Most most video games are made by people who made the game, aren't they? You know? Well yeah, Ripper could have like uh grabbed into like big gang fouls as couldn't he? So I guess I guess that's a good thing about Ripper. Trying to grab into big gang fouls. Oh man. Terrible dice. Could use a reroll here to try and get lucky. Oh I've got another player anyway. So now I use the reel to try and get lucky and fail. <laughs> I think that's okay. Like getting lucky as hell with your sneaky get DP is pretty much the only way you're winning this, isn't it? Really lucky. Really lucky getting claw mighty. You've got to survive all the claw mighty hits. And you've got to get really lucky with your own fouls. It's like it's super tough. Like down TV and bash mirrors is really tough. And then when it's like a bash mirror where you're completely countered by <laughs> by them by having millions of claw, it becomes almost impossible.
don't need to care about the ball, does he here? Spiro log. 1 0 up, but like so many cars already. Can not even care if it somehow gets to overtime. Can just purely maximise hits. Uh, GFI here is pretty bad though. Let's not do that. <laughs> Frenzy, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Don't know. I just literally don't know. It would have been difficult to work out and it would mean looking at the pitch, which is difficult, <laughs> to say the least. I really hate GFI here. I wouldn't I wouldn't GFI here, because it, it's like you're in a completely dominant position, right? So I would just be trying everything to not mess it up and just, uh, you know, go mega safe. Mega safe at this point, I, I would be playing. I definitely wouldn't have run him up. I would have stay compact and just try and fight them. Try to like try to resist his high roll of the uh, dirty player sneaky kit removals. Try to minimise his mighty blow hits as much as possible. Is that the dauntless? Is that a dauntless uh, rotter? Gets a cast. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Spirit Orlog very happy with himself there. <laughs> wow. Dauntless. I thought it was an uphill. I was like, okay, well, the uphill. I thought he was using the uphills so that he wouldn't get hit by Mighty Blow on it. But I'm like, well, then he just hit the claw one anyway. And then it's like, oh shit, it's 2D in his favour because of Dauntless. <laughs> Amazing. No, hit the rot spawn. Ha! <laughs> He's off. Telling me there's a chance. Oh, quad skulls. <laughs> Session amazing. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. That was fantastic. <laughs> well, there you go. Congratulations to Spirit Orlog, who will be facing Elliot in the semi final. Glorious did that one as well, so, you know, doing an order. So, there you go. Bit of a spoiler there, so. Going to be a tough ask, uh, though it's actually better for him than it would be facing Nick, right? Because Nick's got pro elves, so the claw does nothing against G'day Nick, but at least the claw will do something versus uh, not a lot, right? Because if he rolls an eight, he would have broken it anyway with that, with, uh, with mighty blow. So it's not actually leading to more armor breaks; it's just leading to uh, better results on some of the armor breaks. But yeah, um, you know, it's still better to have eight, eight than not have eight claw. Um, and you'll have, you know, a lot of tackle to help. So it'll be interesting. Um, so yep, there you go. Commiserations, Nolly. Congratulations, Spirit or Log. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.